Hi everyone and welcome back to Manny Monday. Got another beautiful spring look for all of you. But for starters, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around the channel to help this channel to grow, which I would greatly appreciate. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Wait till you see this gorgeous nail design. Welcome everyone. Great to see you. Great to be back in on this Monday morning doing another beautiful Manny Monday. And this one is just gorgeous. Let's take a look. Aren't those stunning? I love anything to do with Oriental, Chinese. I just love the way they decorate. I love the look of just like, you know, the way they dress, the way their hair is, just the way they decorate their places. And so I was really excited when I got the Wear It Wednesday outfit. It gave me that Oriental feel. And I've done a few Oriental looks, but this one just really gave me that feel. So I can't wait for you to see that along with, of course, tomorrow, the Tootsie Tuesday toe design that I did to match this. But I love it you guys come on that is definitely Chinese oriental it definitely gives that feel and they are gorgeous and I love that candy apple red and then loving just the signs the flowers it's just gorgeous love it and then I love that I did that northern lights over it gave it a yellow tint since it kind of got yellow tinty in that bottle that I made but I love it because it's giving it that gold feel so I love the way they turned out and like I said I can't wait for you to see the video and see the Tootsie Tuesday toe design and the wear it Wednesday outfit it's probably going to be in my top five for the outfits of the day um, but anyways let's go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women and then we will go on to this video all right, we are on growing faith. Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20, 29. Thomas just couldn't or wouldn't believe that Jesus had actually come back to life after being murdered. He needed to see Jesus for himself. When he did, he believed. Jesus gives a special blessing to the thousands of others throughout history who have not actually seen him or touched him, yet have believed that he lived. It takes an act of faith to believe without seeing. Jesus, is bless Jesus blesses you for that faith and will help your faith grow stronger and stronger if you just believe in him. And when I told you guys that video and helped you guys with your salvation on Saturday, that's what it talks about, seeing without believing. You know, and I totally believe Jesus walked this earth, died on the cross for us. I mean, I feel him every day. I feel the Holy Spirit. I know he's there. I know he walked this earth. And I know that there is a God. I mean, come on, look at our world. There's no way that there couldn't be a God with how beautiful our world is. Sure, a lot of, you know, Bad stuff going on in the world, but that's not to do with God. He gives all of us free will. But I can't wait one day to finally meet Jesus, but I do believe he exists. And it's important to believe that, to have your salvation. You need to believe. So this was absolutely beautiful. The bottom says, Dear Father, some people say that I fight my faith. I'm, I'm sorry. Some people say that I fight my way to faith. It would be so much easier just to believe, but I don't know how. So please show me how to believe without seeing or arguing, just to believe in faith. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's a good one, you know, to talk to Jesus about, to ask God to help you with your belief and your faith. Mine is huge. My faith is just so big. You only have to have faith the size of a mustard seed. But the, the mustard seed is one of the biggest trees when you plant it. One of the biggest trees to grow is a mustard, a mustard seed tree. It's the biggest. So that's how it's explaining how your faith only has to be as big as a mustard seed. Yet that tree grows to be so big. So your faith will grow bigger and bigger. You just have to ask for it. But I 100% believe, I totally believe that Jesus walked this earth, that he died for us, that he was born just to die for us on the cross and rose again and sits now with his father on the right hand of his father. And he's uh, preparing a kingdom for everybody that has their salvation. I 100% believe and I hope you do too. Start your day, go through your day and end your day with life's manual. I got it here in my uh, little uh, 
Bible holder, but start your day, end your day, and go through your day reading this, the scriptures. Get a close personal relationship with Jesus. Get into a room alone, spending quality alone time with him, reading the scriptures. You're going to absolutely love what you read. And just all the stuff that was predicted in here and how God just wrote such a beautiful book for all of us to read. We don't need the media, dictionaries, all of that. This is life's manual. Definitely life's manual on how to live. So just get into it, you guys. The more you read, you know, I was listening to... um uh, Billy Graham, when he was older, and he was talking about, you know, many Christians, you know, there are the hardest roads because the devil's going to attack. Once you have your salvation, he's going to attack. So he says, remain on your knees, holding this Bible, reading this Bible, staying close to the Lord and praying as much as you can and rebuking out the devil, saying, uh, Satan, get thee behind me in Jesus' name. You got to say that a lot because you're going to be attacked once your salvation is won because Satan now knows he does not have you anymore because your salvation is won by Jesus. You're going to heaven and the devil hates it. So he's going to try to attack and try to ruin your life. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you know what? Just be as much as you can in this word and with Jesus and giving him that time so that you can feel good and the devil has to flee when you say, get thee behind me, Satan, in Jesus' name. He flees, but he'll come back. He'll keep coming back. And especially when your faith is huge, he's going to try to destroy that. Don't let him. Don't let him win, you guys. Don't let him win. Get going with this. Get going with the reading. You're going to love everything in here. And whatever you don't understand, ask the Lord to help you understand. He will. Ask him to grow your faith and your wisdom, strength, um, knowledge, just everything. Ask him every day to help with that and get to this book. You're going to love it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed those verses and I hope all of you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Again, leaning on the Lord. I love you all so much. God bless. Take care. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now, on to this oriental, beautiful Manny Monday. Hi, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's Manny Monday, a beautiful spring look done in an oriental feel. We've got red tips. We've got oriental flowers. We've got Chinese writing, rhinestones, and gold glitter. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Manny Monday. Excited to share another nail design with all of you for the spring. And this look here, I'm going to be doing an oriental look. As you notice, I do have a new set of nails on. I wanted my coffin set back. And also, I had broke like four nails. I was doing a lot of cleaning, lifting up the window and the storm window, and boom, I busted four of them. So I thought, ah, oh, heck, I really want my um, coffin shape back. Got to fix four nails anyway, so I'll just do a new set. And my nails had grown out pretty long. So I just figured I'd do a new set. So I got a new set on, and we've got the coffin shape back. I really like that shape on me because I have uh, longer fingers, so it just elongates, and I just like the look of it. And then we're going to be doing, like I said, an oriental look. So, so far what we have is like red French tips, but I did a um, long smile line. And then, of course, just brought it to shorter at the bottom instead of going all the way across like a regular French look. So, in between the design, I can do some oriental different designs. Flowers, the signs, some uh, maybe some lines and dots, some scroll work, different things like that. So, let me go over and show you all the supplies. All right. For the background, I made it. I used this sheer pink here, and I made that. It was just the Kiss Gel Clear, and then I just added in um, 20 drops of a baby pink from the Kiss Gel as well, and then just shook it up, and that's what I have for my background. And then for the red, I used this Kiss Gel here. That's called, um, what's it called? Um, Maris Cherry. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but it's that one there. A beautiful um, candy apple red. I would say it's more of a, like a candy apple red. It's gorgeous. All right. And definitely an oriental red. It's beautiful. And then I will be working with uh, acrylic paints. I will need black. I will need a red and this nude because the flowers I'm going to do kind of with a nude color. And then I'm going to put some red kind of in the centers. And then, of course, the lines and everything I want done in the black there. I'll be using Robin Moses's brush, the wand, and there's the tip. I just have to give it a good cleaning because I leave them dirty in between. 
and then I'll be putting on some stones as well. I'm going to use my color wheel here, got from Hobby Lobby. I'll be doing the red in the centers of the flowers and maybe even some of the black. I've got some black here. We'll see as we go along, or I'll just do black dots, but I will be using the red stones. I'll glue it down with the whoops, ASP glue and then an orange, orange wood stick. And then I might go through it with this. I made this. It's a Northern Lights, um, but I made it with just the clear polish again by the Kiss Gel. It was just a clear polish. And I added in a gold micro glitter in there. And I've used this before and I showed you guys. Here is the original Northern Lights. I got this from Sally's. That's the silver version. You have to shake these up. It says shake it up because it all lays at the bottom. And so I have a silver version, but I'm going to start making them. And then I wanted a gold version. So I did this because they're kind of spendy. So I thought I would just make them myself. They're a buck from the dollar store. And then I have the micro glitter I get from Joanne um, Fabrics. Believe it or not, I get the glitter from there. So that is everything. So I'm just going to get started on some of the art. And I'll come back in as I'm going along. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so so far I've got one hand done. And I've done each one just a little bit different. But aren't they beautiful and very oriental? I even got like the oriental sign there. And then I did the flowers on the thumb as well. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Definitely gives me an oriental feel. So as long as each one's different, I'm just going to show you each one. So we'll start with the um, pinky. But on the pinky, I'm going to do the sign. And we'll just kind of change it up just a little bit here. Um, let's see. Should we do the flowers on these two and then the sign on this one? Maybe that's what I do. Maybe I'll change it up a little bit. Um, yeah. So we're going to dip into the black. And we're just going to start by doing a couple uh, just little lines to um, come down. So I have the little, let me draw in here. So I have the, hopefully you guys can see this, just the little stems for the flowers. Just kind of zigzag it a little bit like that. And then a little bit more black, whoops. <laughs> okay. And then I'll do another one right here. Bring it a little bit farther like that and then we're going to do a stem over on this one too because i'll have these two be the flowers so just kind of zigzag line and bring it to a point at the end and then i'll do another one here all right and i just want to fix this one just a little bit like that all right and then i'm going to do some little leaves and i just put just a tiny little uh, to go to one side, go to the other, and then just do a pull. So we get a, just a leave. And then I'll do one on this side. Again, just to one side, to the other, and a little pull. You just want tiny little leaves. Let me get a little bit closer. So you guys can see these. Okay. And then I'll do a leave on this side, just to one side, to the other, and a little pull at the end. Okay. And hopefully the light is okay. It always gets worse when I get closer. And then I'll do a leave on this side to one side to the other and pull. Okay, and then we'll do leaves over here. All right. So I'm just going to go to one side to the other and just give it a little pull. And same thing on this side. Little line, little line and pull. You're basically, you know, you almost could just set the brush down too. I'll show you. Just set the brush down and just kind of pull like this and give it a little pull at the end. That'll make a leave as well. Hopefully you got to see that. I kind of fogged out there. I noticed that. Okay, and then the um, Chinese emblem, we'll do that on the ring finger. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do it just like this one. So start off with just a line going down. Okay, and I did look this sign up, so I know it is a Chinese sign. And then... Just goes across and then at the bottom here and that's a shorter one and then you do like a little box but kind of at an angle almost like their little box they put the rice in <laughs> and then close it off like that Let's get a little bit more paint close it off like that and then connect these though and then do another one connecting going down going down and then like that and then a shorter one at the bottom 
and then do the little box again like that across like that and then make the closure bigger you know go across bigger like that so you get like a chinese you know emblem look and i made that one bigger because the finger was bigger there and then i'm going to do the little lines like i did on the pinky over on this one so let's see we'll just bring it this way so we're just going to do some zigzags like this and another one right here and then another one above it like that and then we're going to do the dots and i'm just doing the dots at the top and the bottom so i we'll just put my brush down and do a few dots here and then we'll do some at the top as well like that so that's really pretty all right and then we'll do our flowers oh the thumb too i forgot about the thumbnail the thumb we're gonna also do just some uh flowers don't want it to be blurred out i think it blurs out because of my other finger but we'll just set the brush down and get a stem going like that and another one right next to it like that and pull that one that way and then we'll do a couple leaves again for the leaves just set your brush down like this give it a little push and then pull at the end but i like to kind of round mine off but you can just do a little push i'll show you again just set the brush down kind of pressured it you know giving some pressure and then a little pull at the end that'll be easier to do your leaves but i like to just go to one side to the other kind of rounding it a little bit more for me that's how i like it okay all right and now we'll go back to the flowers all right so i'm just going to get some of that tan i've cleaned the brush off and we're just going to go just to put like three uh petals on each one so i'll just start kind of at the top here like this and I'm just gonna kind of just fan it out and then do one this way and one on this side and then same thing on this one just be doing your petals and I just kind of make it you know fan off and really make it look you know like art you want art so it doesn't have to be perfect just these little flowers like that okay and then we'll do it on this one same thing just kind of come up going like in a fan motion and then give another petal and another petal i'm just doing three on each one like that and then we'll do one here this one's going to be a little smaller because there's not enough room so just do a small one there like that and then of course the thumb same thing just fanning it out and doing a petal here and a petal here and then we'll do the same thing on the next one just kind of coming down one up in the corner here and coming to the side like that just like that all right and now we're going to go into the red while it's still wet and we're going to put some red in Oops, I got a little bit of a hair on here. Okay. All right, just go right into your red and just add some red in. Mixing right in with that, that color and you want it wet because that's what gives it that beautiful two-tone color when you're mixing it. And just go about a third of the way up with the red, just mixing it in, giving each one a little bit like that. Okay, go back to the red. For this one add the red in some will be a little bit more some will be a little less that's fine don't have to worry again it's art so you don't need this to be perfect like that and then we'll do the red in the thumb again just adding in the red about a third of the way up just kind of brushing it in you know you don't have to have it perfect just getting some red into these nude color flowers you get a little bit more like that beautiful and if you think you got a little bit too much red of course you can just go right back over with a little bit of that nude just to kind of clean it up a little bit and then just mix it you know 
mix the color. So now I'll take a little bit while it's wet of the red and just run red through it. So we don't get too much. You know, too much red might not look as good. Uh, you do want that nude to, to show through really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one a little bit more of the nude again. And then just a little bit of the red. Mixing in there, that looks better. All right, and then I think that is every, oh, the dots. Okay, so the dots we're doing, we're doing a nude color on the flower ones. And we're just going to go from one side up on the red. I'm going up on the red and just do some, oops, I got a little bit too much paint here. Okay, and then just put some dots in of the nude. And we'll go over to this one, and then we'll go this way with this one. Like that. Okay, and the same thing with, I have a hair in this, and that's why it's doing that. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Same thing, we'll just get some dots going around here like that. And then we're going to do black dots, but these black dots we're going to kind of represent kind of more oriental the way I do it. I'll show you. I'm just going to come to the bottom here and do them really, really close. So just kind of like this, like, you know, just making like a marking kind of like that. And same thing over here. Set it down and get them right next to each other just so it looks kind of like a Chinese marking. Oh, I didn't show you that one. Sorry. So like that. And then we'll do the thumb. Same thing. Just kind of get them right next to each other as you're going up. Again, just to give that that Chinese feel like that. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Oh my gosh, this one is really pretty. And I just figured I would stay on and just show you guys that whole step of doing all the different nails. Oh no. Okay, don't worry. I messed this one up. But you know what's awesome? Is I'm just going to go very lightly. Spray a little bit of alcohol here. And you can wipe it right off. Just don't get your flower. Try not to hit that flower. Okay. That's what I love about acrylic paint. It can be cleaned off pretty, pretty quickly. That's why you have to top coat these. Because even water would take that off. Okay. So there, I got it off. See how easy that was? I just sprayed it with 100 or 91% alcohol. I think the other hand is okay. Let me make sure I didn't mess up anything on this hand when I was doing my work. Nope. Okay, and this hand's fine. All right, so let me just get some more of these dots for over here. And just, again, just put them in going up around like that. Whoops, I want one more there. My paint kind of ran out. No, it's because the alcohol is there. There, just like that. And then the black's already at the bottom. All right. Awesome. Aren't these really cool looking? Very oriental-like. And I like how each one is done a little bit different. We kept the thumbs the same, but very, very oriental looking. I love it, you guys. All right. So now we're going to get the rhinestones in. I don't know how I'm going to put them. Again, you would have seen the front cover, how I did it. So we're going to figure out how I'm going to do that. And then I will come back in. Let me back up just a little bit farther for you guys. And then I'll come back in and show you guys that. I'll be right back. Now you see I've got the stones. Isn't that pretty how I did it? I just put the red stones in the flowers like that, and then I just kind of put it through the design, and again, the red through the uh, flowers there. And I just wanted to do the red. I didn't do any black. I just like it like that. So over here, I got the stones in here and on the thumb, but I left the rest open just to show you guys. So let me draw in. Got a little bit of glue on a cap here and my orange wood stick. I'm just going to dip in. And get some glue and we'll start with this just do a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom and then grab two red stones put one there and sorry my stones are laid out but sometimes when you're on film they're hard to pick them up so like that and they'll just give it a little push and then we're going to get some glue just running through here and through this one and we're going to do three stones wipe off the, the orange wood stick and just do three stones and these were stuck together 
Okay, and then do three more. Got to get these kind of separated here. And then I need one more right there. Okay, and then in the flower. And you just do a dot right in the center of that three petal flower. Make sure you get enough glue in there. And then we're going to get two red stones. Put one there. And one, oops, wrong color. And one there. There we go. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? Oh my gosh, so oriental. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. I love the oriental feel of it. And I always do, you know, nails to match an outfit is what I always do. And the outfit that I'm going to wear, you guys, is just phenomenal. And it gave me an oriental feel. And that's why I thought, let's go ahead with a theme set of nails doing, you know, an oriental feel since the outfit I'll be wearing definitely gives me an oriental feel. And I can't wait for you guys to see that. And of course, the set of toes for Tootsie Tuesday, that'll match as well. All right, let's go ahead and do that glitter coat over the top. I believe I'm going to do that, and then we'll top it off with the sesh feet. So let me get that done. I'm going to try one out and see if I like it, and then I will return. Okay, now you see I've got that Northern Lights done in the gold version. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Oh my gosh, it's just making it even better. Sorry if you hear the ambulance in the back there. We got an ambulance going through somewhere in my neighborhood. <laughs> All right, we're just going to grab this gold glitter that I shook up, and we're just going to go across with it. And it has that slight tint of gold in the bottle as well, just from putting the gold in, and it kind of dyed the, the clear, which is totally fine. Sorry, guys, it's getting louder. It's actually a fire truck, I believe. Hope everybody's all right. All right, and then we'll do the thumb. And I just like when you have, like, a micro glitter because it doesn't ruin your design you know, it gives it such a, a beauty. You get that beautiful sparkle when you're doing a Northern Lights because it's such a fine micro glitter. But it does, and it doesn't cover up your design, but it's so pretty. And I really think this gave it more of an Oriental feel. And I like it with the gold. And I like that little tint um, of the gold there. You'll see why when I do the outfit. So I like the gold tint there. So, all right, now we are going to top coat with the sesh feet. I always like to do another top coat, even though that would be considered a top coat. I like to go over because I don't like the feeling of the... Uh, glitter or whatever, I like them to be really smooth. So we're going to top it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast, and I'll come in and show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done, and check out my Oriental Nails. Aren't these gorgeous? And definitely, definitely look Oriental. They definitely have that Chinese feel, and I really love that I did that gold glitter. Now, I know it has that tint, since that clear did get a tint to it of gold, but it's looking phenomenal. I love it. I love the look of it. And it's going to go so well with the toes and the Wear It Wednesday outfit, which is a oriental feel 100%. Wait till you guys see it. I just love it. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Definitely give this a try and have fun with art, everyone. God bless. Take care. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.